a notorious ISIS executioner dubbed White Beard has been captured by Iraqi security forces, according to reports. Abu Omar, a jihadi kingpin who is known for his long white beard, has previously been caught on camera appearing to stone civilians to death under the militant group's rule in Mosul, Iraq. Locals confirmed his arrest to the Al Bayt news agency on January 1 after residents revealed his hiding place to the city. Omar was reportedly present when gay people were thrown from buildings and victims executed for offenses like blasphemy. In March 2015, chilling images emerged of three men being forced to their knees and publicly beheaded by a sword-wielding jihadi. Photographs show an elderly man, purportedly Omar, using a microphone to read the blindfolded men's charges to the crowd before the executioner steps forward to deliver a deadly blow. And now Abu Waikir Domer may now face execution himself. Even though the terrorist group is said to have been completely defeated in Iraq, ISIS maintains a presence in some hideouts across the country. Last week, a British army commander said the fight against the militant group was far from over. Major General Felix Jedney, a deputy commander of Combined Joint Task Force Operation Inherent Resolve, said ISIS remains a threat to the region and to our homelands as well. But the military operations here over the past years have hit them very hard, he said. We've taken an enormous amount of territory from them, we've killed large numbers of ISIS militants, and we continue to do so. So we have severely degraded their ability to conduct operations outside of Iraq and Syria, as well as degrading their capability in. In 2014, ISIS blitzed across large swathes of Syria, seizing Raqqa before spreading into north and western Iraq capturing Mosul and even advancing to the edges of the Iraqi capital, Baghdad. During 2017, Major General Jedney said more than 23,000 square miles have been liberated from ISIS across Syria and Iraq, as well as 4.5 million people from under their oppressive rule. Raqqa served as the capital of Islamic State's so-called caliphate and had been under the group's control for more than three and a half years until it was recaptured in October. In early December, Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi formally announced ISIS had been driven out of Iraq. But Major General Jedney said Iraqi security forces are continuing to hunt down remnants of the militant group hiding throughout the country.